right, so I finally managed to get round to potting on my tomatoes and other little bits and pieces that were growing well in the little um, propagator. So my tomatoes have been moved on. So obviously, they're a little bit sorry for themselves because they've had a bit of a shock being moved. But they should perk up a little bit. Some more tomatoes. I think I've got a mixture of um, Gardener's Delight, Moneymaker and Roma. Actually, I have got a wee tomato there. This is the one, uh, sorry, cucumber. This is the one I got a little bit excited over growing. So I've just kept it to one for now, just so I don't, I don't give myself too much work. And then, okay, some more tomatoes and moved on some sweet peppers and one of the cayenne peppers as well. So hopefully these will stay in these little pots now for a little while until they grow and get some good root systems going back on them. Celery seems to be sprouting well, so just keeping an eye on those. I haven't done them before, so these are going to be a little bit of a learning curve. But up to now, I'm quite happy with how my tomatoes have grown, um, considering I did start them off in January. I was, I was worried I was, I was a little bit... Um, overzealous starting them off but they seem to be all right i'm quite lucky that i've got a south facing window um so it gets a lot of light so they haven't really gone particularly leggy um stalks seem quite thick on them um, and they are just above a radiator um which gives them some decent heat as well so i've got quite a good little spot um, so I'm hoping once these are sorted, we shall get them into the greenhouse once the frosts have passed a bit. I've got some more snowdew forecast this weekend. Um, but up to now, I've got a lovely little production line going. And these are my very first ever attempts at growing tomatoes from seed. So up to now, quite pleased. I also bought some very um, cheap primroses from B&Q um, they were in the sale for £2 so I couldn't really resist a little bit of um, brightness to add into this little set I got and I actually, but these were actually individual pots that I bought last year but I got my dad to put them together for me originally meant to be a herb planter but I ended up changing my mind and then it's never had anything in it since so these were ideal to pop in and I love this one because this one's double coloured. I've got one that's green and that one but they're both part of the same little pack on that one which is quite cool. And that one, this one was actually dead, well there, there was no flowers left on it so I've just nipped them and new growth coming out on that one and these are my favourite, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm hoping to save some seeds of these once they start um, wilting away, just to make the most of them. That's quite cute, nice and, nice and spring-like. Now for Mother's Day, I got this most gorgeous hellbore, and I've been after one for ages, and I dropped many hints but they are such a beautiful flower. This particular one is um, the 2 2 variety. Um, I'll just lift them up. This, so some of them are just starting to wilt a little bit, so the slightest touch, the stamens keep dropping out. But absolutely stunning. And they've still got quite a bit of new budding coming out as well, so this is still going. So I'm still going to be able to enjoy this a little while longer before it does eventually finish for its season. And hopefully, once I get it a good home, i find somewhere suitable for it to go. Because I do like a little bit of shade, these guys. So I've got potentially two pot plots to put it into. So I've just got to decide which one. But I have noticed it's got quite a good bit of new growth in there as well I can see amongst the mature stalks 
Um, so it's just trying to keep it maintained and keep it growing healthy and beautiful. Because that's exactly where it is. Absolutely stunning. Chuffed to bits with this one. So that's just a little bit of an update really. Um, I haven't done a little bit of a, a video um, for you guys for a little while. Um, it's just trying to keep track of what it is that you want to do, not getting too um, ahead of yourself. Obviously, we've still got plenty of the growing season to, to go. Um, this is just the very beginning. Um, and there's lots of choices to be made as well. So I'm rubbish, I'm very, very rubbish at making choices. So um, I'm gonna have to just limit limit myself and stick with what I know best. But I still got some uh, dahlias that I need to um, plant on. I, I bought some tubers um, from Wilkinson's that were really cheap. Um, last year I did try it, I did try it, um, I bought some some that were in this sale but wasn't enough time in a growing season for us to be able to get any flowers um, unfortunately and then the tubers didn't really survive very well afterwards so I thought I'm going to give it another go this year I'm not being put off as long as I start them off early enough so I went to Wilkinson's to say they've got some great value ones at the minute so the first ones I got were these um, and they I think that it is meant to actually say cactus, but it says cactus, cactus, um, cactus ones. So <laughs> uh, I've got we've got purple and white um, mixed dahlias on this variety, and there's three tubers in that, and you can see two pound fifty can't really go wrong. And the other one I'm going to try is this one again, really cheap, one pound. This one is called Mystery Day. And it's, you can't really see it on the picture, but it's like a lovely deep burgundy purple tinge with pink and white. It's got a bit of everything in there, a bit of everything in it. So hopefully, um, we I, I can get these ones to go early this year. So it's just pinning some time down to get the them started off. Because it does say that can be grown between March and June, but obviously forget them in pots and then get them into the greenhouse at least they'll be off to a good start and hopefully avoid all the slugs and things so yeah so there's bits and pieces been going on i'm just taking it easy keeping track of everything so you can see my windowsills turned into a huge production line because it's start starting them off in a propagate is great because they're all compact and then it's when you've got to pop them on you've got to find that room um to be able to house them so there'll be sacrifices made but i'm sure it will be worth it so that is all I've got at the minute. Um, I'll try not to leave it too long um, before I do my next one and give some updates. Oh, I do need to go and give you an update on my sweet peas. I don't seem to be having any success with them at all. I haven't even got no germination, but I might need to move them. Um, but I'll go, well, I'll go back and have a look at that one because I'm gutted because I really had a good year last year with sweet peas. So they might need to come back inside a little bit to see if I can kickstart them off. Um, and get some growth on them so but i'll catch up with you all later on that one so uh, goodbye for now and i shall see you soon